she's um, giving me energy right now. She's energy healing. So it felt very close. My heart is better than yours. Aww. I'm Scylla and this is Lorenzo. We are doctors looking for a way to combine our passion for medicine with our love for exploration. We picked up our lives and sold all our stuff to start a new adventure. Subscribe to follow along. We are a few weeks away from the Istanbul Marathon and training while traveling has been both really challenging and really incredible. During one of our stops in Turkey, my aunt organized a lead melting ritual to clear the Nazar in anticipation of the big race. Today we're getting our Nazar, our evil eye cleansed and doing some bio healing. She's um, giving me energy right now. She's energy healing. This woman was invited to my aunt's house to perform the Turkish version of lead pouring. This is a pagan ritual where molten lead or tin is dropped into cold water over a person's head. The ritual often begins with a prayer from the Quran and several maneuvers to open our energy for bio healing. After this stage, we were not allowed to cross our arms or legs because that would impair the flow of energy. After this, she burned sage and put a coin in the bowl full of cold water. A piece of garlic was also involved, but I don't really remember what that symbolized. Now time to melt the lead while Lorenzo panics about lead poisoning. When it's liquid, we put a blanket over low and prepare to dump the molten metal into cold water and interpret the shapes when it cools. Straight lead. In a nice ladle. Yeah. And then the lead's gonna go in the cold water and she's yeah. gonna read the shape. Yeah, sure. Sure. This is done to provide insights into the future and absorb the dark energies of that person. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> that was very close. It felt very close. <laughs> and what are the shapes that are apparent now? All the stuff falling out is your bad nazar, your rotten energy, and then also, so they're all connected. This practice has been used for centuries to ward off the malevolent gaze of the evil eye and is found in many other countries such as Bosnia, Switzerland, and Finland. My heart is better than yours. Aww. <laughs> what she's saying is really beautiful, actually. She's saying everything is energy in the end, and even our words are energy. So if you are saying positive things, then those positive energies will come back to you. But if you're, and it's white magic. I get to wake up. Yeah, and I then if you say today. negative things, then it's black magic, and it's like negative. And everything is in constant motion, so we're just transferring energies all around us. So if you can't do the ritual, you have a tree. Right. To transfer the energy, energy into, the into the earth. earth.